Number 19. What is the mechanical advantage of a nail puller, similar to the one shown in figure 9.22, where you exert a force 45 centimeters from the pivot and the nail is 1.8 centimeters on the other side? All right, so let's take a look at the picture over here. We are, or a person is exerting a force um, that is located at a distance from the nail, or excuse me, from the pivot point actually. So the pivot point is right here. And that particular distance to the pivot point is going to be 45 centimeters. And the nail right here is on the other side of this particular pivot point. And that distance is going to be 1.8 centimeters. I'll put that distance in red. It's going to be a very small distance right there. And that's going to be the 1.8 centimeters. So we have to find the mechanical advantage. So let's take a look at the, at the formula on the right hand side. Right here, I'm going to box it. It says that the mechanical advantage is basically equal to either the output force divided by the input force or the input lever arm divided by the output lever arm. All right. So the input is basically the force that's being inputted into the system. And then the output is going to be the, uh, the force that would be uh, on the other side of that pivot point or the force that's being outputted to pull out that nail. Now, they don't tell us any forces for the first part of the problem. They're just telling us basically lever arms. Um, so we do know the input lever arm and the output lever arm. The input lever arm is the 45 centimeters. That is the distance to the pivot point. And then the output lever arm is the 1.8 centimeters. That's this red uh, distance right there. So to find the mechanical advantage, all we have to simply do is just plug it in. So I'll rewrite the formula. That is, it is the uh, lever arm input divided by, I'll make it a cursive L, lever arm input divided by the lever arm output. So the mechanical advantage here is going to simply be 45 centimeters over 1.8. And then we just oops, forgot my A there. And then all we have to simply do is just plug it into the calculator. So 45 over 1.8 is 25. Now it is unit less. Um, if you notice, you know, the units here, we're dividing centimeters by centimeters. So uh, your mechanical advantage will have no units to it. It's basically just a ratio. Um, that being said, you can use any units you like in here as long as you're consistent. Meaning if centimeters are on the top, you better have centimeters on the bottom. If you want meters up here, the meters better be on the bottom. Okay, you just have to be consistent. That takes care of the first part. Second part of the problem says, what minimum force must you exert to apply a force of 1250 newtons to the nail? So now basically we're using the same formula, but now since we know that we have a mechanical advantage of 25, I'm now going to use the first half of this equation. All right, so the mechanical advantage is equal to the output force over the input force. The mechanical advantage we just found was 25. And the output force, um, it, well, what is, what is this force uh, in relation to? Is that the output force or the input force? Well, it sounds to me like it's the output force, right? It says, what minimum force must you exert? So it's asking the question of what force must you input, right? So this is the unknown. The output force then, that's the force that you will be applying to the nail, and that's the 1250. Okay, so this is going to be 1250 over Fi. So just solve it for the input force here. So that's going to be 12, 1250 over 25. And then the output force here is going to be 12. 1250 over 25, so it comes out to 50, all right? And that's in terms of Newtons. Okay, this is a Newton value on the top. This has no units to it, so therefore it's just Newtons in the answer, and that should make sense. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps us out tremendously, helps us reach more students just like yourself, and we'd appreciate it so, so very much. Thank you.